going to say, well, I'm spending the night in a Bow Street cell. You were bumping that little beauty. Well, damn your luck, Flashy. Only the brave deserve a fare. My backside's like a pincushion, a hairbrush. Now, now, finish him. Smash him. Why don't they hit each other? See what I mean? Gently, sweetheart. You're not in bed now, you know. <laughs> If it ain't Attila the Hun. Ah, Cud. Glad to see you again. Come to watch us English at play, what? A sporting contest, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Very sporting. And a fitting moment to introduce our guest of honor, a member of parliament, justice of the peace, many years ago, the heavyweight champion of all England. Ladies and gentlemen, will you drink? To John Gully. John Gully. You make much of this boxing, I see. No doubt it is interesting enough to see two of the lower orders slash each other with their fists. But surely, well-bred men dispel this, no? Well, Count, each country to its own game. I hear in Germany that you fight duels just to get scars on your head. <laughs> the Schlager, the dueling saber, it gives a man honorable scars. Besides, it is for gentlemen. Dueling, you see, is a uh, soldierly skill. And if you excuse me, I see no skill in this. Perhaps you think boxing's easy. Do you fancy you could hold your own in a mill? Is that a challenge? <laughs> Good Lord, no. No, like you, I'm a man of the sword. But if you think that boxing ain't scientific, then you need a good teacher. And the best teacher in all the world is standing over there. He'd be glad to instruct you. That is a foolish proposition. You see, Mr. Gully is far too old. Oh, too old? No, hold on, mine, eh? It wouldn't be that he's a professional. One of the lower orders. I am not interested whether he's a professional or not. So you say. Not the devil, damn it, Flashman. Oh, I'm sick of his foreign airs, sneering at old Jack as though he weren't good enough. Point is, if the Count wants a friendly spa, Jack will oblige, won't you, Jack? Well, look here. I'll tell you what I'll do. To convince our visitor here that there's more than a noble art than meets the eye, I'll stand in front of him with my hands down and let him try to plant a few faces on me. Now, what do you say, my hair? You mean you'll stand there and not run away and let me strike you? I'll let you try. Good. <clears throat> but damn it, he's a guest. You won't hurt him, Jack. Ah. Now, you must hit him fair, above the waist. Now, go easy, Jack, for God's sake. Now, Mr. Gully. Now, time. Well done, mine hair. Never mind, then. They couldn't have done better. Convinced now, Bismarck? Yeah. Yeah, there is skill, I admit. But I would be obliged if you would try me again, and this time you will strike me in return. No, no, enough, enough. No, no, Tom. This man's a sportsman. I'll spar easy with you, Count. You can go home and say you've fought the champion. Come on, squarehead! <laughs> <laughs>
Enough. That'll do. Oh. You should not have done that, my man. That's not fair when a man's not looking. So, you do not wish to continue, huh? Best not. Very well, if you've had enough. I quit to no man. <laughs> oh, you limey bastards! <laughs> was the most useful instruction. Jolly game boxing, ain't it? Great builder of character, they tells me. <laughs> I have to thank you for this. Someday, Captain Flashman, since you are a man of the sword, I hope you come to Germany, where we Germans can show you how to fight with this saber. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gully, 